What's cooking guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to A La Carte with Alex where we are constantly cooking you up easy, simple, and delicious food one plate at a time that you can make at home. So today, I figured we'd do something kind of fun, something easy, sticking with our egg theme. If uh, you haven't checked out any of our other egg videos, go ahead and check them out up at the title card or whatever they're called at the top. But today, we're gonna be making a fried egg. It's super easy, super simple, very delicious, Trust me, you guys are gonna love it. You can't wait to make it, and you're gonna impress the heck out of your friends when you make this at home. So, let's get cooking. Let's get started with our fried egg. One of the things that I love so much about fried eggs is just how simple they are. They really don't take a lot of ingredients. You just need about a tablespoon of butter, however many eggs you wanna make, and some salt and pepper. That's about it. So let's go ahead, let's dive in. Let's go ahead and turn our heat on. Turn it to about a medium high heat. Don't mind the mess. I actually do cook in my own kitchen, so. Uh, that's what happens when you cook, you get a little messy. But go ahead and get that going, let that come to temperature, and then let's add our butter in. You just want that butter to melt and coat the pan. That's gonna stop the egg from sticking or getting there. If you wanna use a cooking spray, that's totally fine. I just, I prefer butter. Eggs and butter just go so well together. It's a match made in heaven. I know you might be thinking healthier, let's do olive oil or something else, but don't skimp on the butter. Do the butter, you're gonna be way happier, it's gonna be way tastier. Okay, so now that our butter is nice and melted, you're gonna see that sizzliness coming from the butter. If it sizzles too much, just turn the temperature down, otherwise you're good to go. And then you don't want to mix up your egg. You want to leave it whole for a fried egg, but just go ahead and pour it right in the middle there. Try to keep it together as best you can. And then this is a great time to hit it with a little salt and some pepper right on top. Now with this, once you start getting skilled enough, you don't even need a spatula or whatever it is but you can go ahead and you can kind of play around with it if you like, just making sure you don't break this yolk. You wanna let this white part here, you want that to come to temperature, you want that to start cooking. You can move it around your pan. If it sticks, it means you didn't add enough butter, but if not, it'll jiggle around and shake all willy-nilly. And then just let that cook for about a minute to two minutes, you're gonna start seeing it bubbling that's totally fine and that's perfect. Okay, if we want, we can check underneath to see if we're getting that golden brown. Still a little pale, so that's all right. Okay, so, ooh. Okay, so I think that's starting to come together nice and perfect. Now we're ready to flip. Now you can use your spatula, get under there and flip it, but let's be fancy here. Let's go ahead and we're gonna try that chef flip. So you're gonna get it down to one edge on your pan. You're gonna flip it, but you're gonna hit it with your wrist and you're gonna flick your wrist back. So, whoop, there we go. Now it might not be perfect, but shake it out. See if you can get it a little bit more even. If not, that's totally fine. Have fun with it, play around with it. You're gonna get that there, hit it with another little pinch of salt and some pepper and let that cook again for about another couple minutes, depending on how done you want it. If you want that runny yolk, do it less. Do it for about 30 seconds or so. If you want it more well done in the middle, uh, do it for about a minute and so on and so forth. I like a runny yolk, so we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit, let it cook on the bottom side so we get both sides done, and then we'll have that delicious, delicious middle. So I think that's about ready to go. So I'm gonna kill the heat. And then, and then the perfect accoutrement to your fried egg is toast. Now you can butter your toast. You can not butter it if you want to be a little bit healthier, however you want to go, but 
Just go ahead and evacuate your egg onto your toast. And bam, you got yourself a delicious breakfast. Simple, quick, easy to make. Press the heck out of your date, out of your friends, out of your family. Uh, you can add a little uh, little bit of greens if you want. Let's, uh, let me do that. Let me chop up some greens real quick. If you wanna be real fancy, you don't know how to chop them up. You can just take some fresh basil or some parsley, put that on top, get that nice aromatic. Go ahead and uh, smell that. Um, oh yeah, that's, that's right, sorry, it's uh, YouTube, you guys can't smell. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, there you go. You have a fried egg. Quick, simple, and delicious. Trust me, you guys gotta try this. Practice it, eggs are cheap, eggs are delicious. They're quick, simple, ready to go. You guys are gonna love it. Okay, so that's all the time I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that bell, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that way you never miss anything that I'm coming out with next. Leave a comment, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know a dish that you'd like to make and maybe I'll make it. Maybe it's something you guys have always wanted to make and wanna find an easier way to make it or something that you just wanna watch me make. But trust me, you guys are gonna get this brunch thing down so easy. Once you get that fried egg going, your breakfast is gonna be a big game changer. You're gonna impress your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you can impress family, friends, whoever it might be. And trust me, you're gonna impress your stomach. But thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Stay full and stay healthy, America. Bye guys. Mm. Woo! Mm, that is good.